Hi guys, what is up? It is Michaela Mags and welcome or welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have a requested video. Probably like my first requested video because, um, I guess that... Today I'm going to be doing a what's on my iPhone because you guys have been kind of requesting this and to be honest I totally understand like these are just so weirdly entertaining to watch you know getting to look into people's phones and snooping around seeing what they have on their phones is just I don't know very entertaining and I totally agree with that. This is also my second time filming this the first one I just I did not like at all so here we go again. Before we do get started I'm going to do my small YouTube shout out to these two people I'll have their channels up on the screen i'm not sure how to pronounce their name so i don't want to butcher it again go follow them or go subscribe to them if you guys are interested in that type of content and if you guys are interested in one in the future i'm going to try my best to shout out as many people as i can comment down below if that's something that you'd be interested in also don't forget to subscribe down below because i do post once a week without further ado let's get on into the video first off i'm going to start off with my case it's also, say hi to my bear back there. He's probably joined in on like every video. But yeah, my case is from Casetify and I love this case. It's so strange because originally I don't even know how I found this on the website because when I go to look for it now, I couldn't find it. So I actually DM'd Casetify and asked them to like send me a link to this. So I'll link it down below because look at, just, just look how beautiful the case is. It's probably like my favorite case that I actually like have. But I would say this one is not as protective as the other ones because the rim like around the phone it's not as raised if you like would say that that like kind of like protects the phone a little bit more we're gonna start off with my lock screen this is what it looks like it speaks for itself oh my gosh it's just this little cloud print and then you know it looks like this i actually edited this in visco to make it a little bit more on the bluer sides it just looks clean and i got this off pinterest if you guys want to go follow my pinterest i'll link it down below it's also just michaela mags 11. now finally actually getting into my phone screen record part two so here i have weather app store zoom and reminders i actually wanted to like arrange this all by a specific color so like blue would be all on top but i didn't have enough apps for that to work so this is what we have the weather i use this like so often obviously to check what the weather is gonna be like and currently it is super hot where i live right now so i, I look like i'm sweating that's because i am i have the app store and i have a bunch of updates clearly and then i have zoom which i just use for when i can't get to a laptop i'll just use it on my phone Phone, reminders I don't really use that um, calendar I use that all the time just because I can't keep up with the days now quarantine has just had that effect on me health I don't know what this is but it just came with the phone and I just keep it here I'm pretty sure it has to do something with your health I use notes all the time I hold lots of important things in there I've written paragraphs in there I've literally seen a tweet I think I think it was a tweet where it's like were you actually arguing with your significant other if you didn't write a paragraph in your notes which is very very true and then I have find my iPhone I don't really use this right now, but I will need it in the future because I lose my phone all the time. And fun fact, I've actually got my phone stolen, so I did have to use that. Clips, I don't use that. Docs, I use that all the time. Had a lot of paragraphs in here. Wallet, I don't use that. Clock, I use that all the time for all my timers to wake me up, even though they don't successfully do it. I, it happened this morning. I tried to wake up at like 10 to film this, and then it just clearly didn't work out because it's now 1.06. Voice memos, I actually use that pretty often. Settings, you guys know what that is. Contacts, I don't use contacts at all life 360 oh you guys if you guys know what this is it tracks you like your parents can you know know where you guys are it's not the best invention but for parents like yeah i guess it would be so maybe in the future when i grow up i'm gonna need that on my kid calculator i use this map one tracker one tracker allows you to track all of your packages in one app it's very convenient facetime documents photos phone you guys know what those are documents is actually just an app where you can store documents however you you could also like transfer stuff from like say a PC to my iPhone. That's basically how I filter my videos. And then down here, like at the very bottom, those four, I have camera, safari, m messages, and music. And those are just my four core important apps that I have on my phone. I use those pretty frequently, like on a daily basis. And then moving over, we have this whole screen. Like I'm just gonna show you guys this here too. It's just a screen where it's like completely blank and I can see my lock screen because I like to have a screen where it it's just either like just blank and there's like one app or it's it looks like this and my lock screen says always believe that something wonderful is about to happen very motivational
foundational and it keeps me happy and I like looking at it here I have four little folders that all like carry important things so my first one is photos and that's basically where most of my editing apps are I think all of them are in here airbrush is just an app where you can like it's like facetune I guess yeah it's kind of like it's basically like facetune Fonto, that's what I use to edit all of my thumbnails or basically like to add text so I'm just gonna show you a quick example I would just add a text and you could just you know like I'm just gonna write and insert a random text and you could do that you could also like curve it and you could do a, like a lot of things to like style it and stuff so that's basically what I use for my thumbnails and then snow is also just another like, aesthetically pleasing app to like edit with so if I wanted to just edit this you could add effects to it it's like a bling and then more bling I don't know it's just super cool I also have visco you guys know what visco is a really cool app to edit your photos with I also have the visco I think plus or I don't know what it's called where you do pay for a yearly subscription and that way I can also filter my videos and then here I have Pixar I also use this to add little effects or like stickers into my photos photo grid you can use that to make grids collages Cooney cam is also another editing one and I'll show you guys some of the filters if you guys are like interested I actually haven't been using this as much I kind of like was more interested at the very beginning when I first got it but they have some really really cool filters and then I also have Lightroom and with this I usually edit my photos first in Lightroom and then I'll take it to Visco. Lightroom is just it's very technical once you can kind of get the hang of it you will definitely like understand how to use it and prequel is a very infamous app for being very aesthetically pleasing you know you see all those TikTok edits. Nomo I'm not quite sure what this is I think it has to do with if you want to add like those VHS like cool little vintage edits. Mega photo these are like kind of self-explanatory there's a bunch of little like cool edits on here and then followers plus that's just you know if you want to track like who unfollows you and follows you retouch it allows you to take out objects out of your photos if you don't want it so it's been a lifesaver for me recently video star and in shot are just things I use to use to make like intros over is another app you can use to make cool like things on your stories templates loopsy I don't remember what this is what is this? Uh... oh yes this little edit so you guys can just see that like how it's like moving back and forth um I saw this on tiktok so if you guys want to check that out super cool but I haven't used it too much yet here I have unfold so like how I made this photo right here I use that app but you do have to buy those certain effects they're $1.99 or you can pay I think it's like $15 for a whole year to get all the effects that it comes with so I did pay $1.99 for one and I'm gonna buy one more lastly I have Daz cam and that just allows you to make like Polaroid little photos here I have my next one which is shop urban outfitters yes style depop and depop I freaking love depop I used to buy a lot on there I haven't been really selling on there because I kind of slack a lot so I don't want to be slacking on any customers and then here I have Poshmark which is another selling app princess Polly emoji Hotel Rocks, Mercari, and Shein. And then I have Chick-fil-A here and Go. Go is just a place where you can buy shoes. A lot of people are into the Air Jordans. So if you guys are like interested in buying from there, you will find those shoes on there. So yeah. Here I have some video editing softwares. So I have iMovie and then iTunes and Adobe Film Sign. Those last two are not even related to like editing. Adobe Film Sign, it's just a lifesaver because if you can't sign a document in person, you can just sign it through here and then send it back to them this next one is called money and obviously it has to do with the money that I'm, I'm working with I guess and all three of these are actually really important for me when it comes to like dealing with my money because with Venmo I can send people money same with PayPal and I can also receive through there here is my last slide YouTube YouTube studio and Pinterest those three very important obviously because I do have a channel right now so with YouTube studio you can actually track like your subscribers the money you're making and your views YouTube studio is the most accurate and up-to-date Pinterest you guys can go follow my Pinterest Michaela Max 11 that's my name on here it's just Michaela the W yeah here I just have a lot of things I have some boards not the best but I'm kind of like working on it I guess so here I have my emails so I have Gmail which oh my gosh like I don't have notifications on right now so you guys can't see how many emails I have but I need to check my emails like Jesus so bad Outlook this is where I'm gonna get my emails from my school files is just like documents I have Netflix Disney Plus and Hulu as of right now I am 
I'm watching Grey's Anatomy on Netflix, and then I'm watching Winter Hill on Hulu. I'm rewatching both shows because I've already finished them. And then here I have sub count, which I don't think is really accurate. It doesn't show you by the number, it kind of shows you by like the hundredth. Here I have Instagram. You guys can go follow my Instagram. I don't really post that often on here. I'm trying my best to like stay up to date with it, but I'm not the best at it. Twitter. Twitter is not the most appropriate, I would say, for kids. So if you are a kid, don't, don't get Twitter yet. So maybe you're like 15 or 16. Here I have my Snapchat and TikTok. Here are some games and I don't really use them that often. I was actually obsessed with Beyblade for the longest time. If you don't know what it is, you kind of just like hit these or these like walls at a beat to a song. Super satisfying to play. Fruit Ninja, you guys know what that is. Subway Surfers, Pocket Sniper, Episode. Um, I don't really use Episode. And Magic Tiles and High School Story. I haven't been keeping up to date with High School Story, but I used to be obsessed. Here I have SoundCloud, and on here I can have a lot of slowed versions of songs, which you can't have on Apple Music, obviously. Honey, which allows you to basically like shop more affordably and save money, but I haven't really checked it out yet. So eventually I'm gonna check it out, and that's basically all everything that that's on my iPhone. I have 64 gigabytes and that kind of goes by really fast, especially on an iPhone 11 because like photos kind of take up more space. I try to keep it minimal as possible even though that might not be minimal to you guys at all. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'll see you guys next week. Don't forget to subscribe down below and um, I don't know what else to say. So bye guys. Love you.